All right, everybody, we are here for our second Not Scary Farm update video. A lot has happened since the first time around. We're actually starting right here at the hotel first before we go in the park, um, but there's lots to see on our way to the park as well. So let's start at the hotel and then we're gonna make our way through the marketplace and into the park. So where they had the depths maze previously, you can't really see anything from up here. You can see a little bit of the bloodline stuff happening. And then they have a couple signs out. I see the Forsaken Lake sign over there. And that's all brand new. That's one of the mazes that's being built. Uh, they put a top on it and you see all the wood structure of the facade happening there. The entire maze is gonna be in this warehouse as well. So you have the one there and the one there that are the two new ones and then bloodline smack dab in the middle. Also, I heard a little bit of a rumor that they might have the bar out here in the courtyard this year. It's all set up right now for, I think, like a wedding or a party or something. But I feel like soon we can start seeing some stuff kind of changed around for Scary Farm. So our first stop on the way to the park is just this area here. I don't want to stick my phone like in the cracks of the gate or anything. So nothing has been updated here. Uh, there's wood panels up and they're working on the inside. The facade you can kind of see over there. Uh, but nothing major that you can see so next up and probably one of our biggest updates in this video is the legacy store is returning the windows have been wrapped with a bunch of creepy characters and some icons as well so when we walk around i'll show you those we got sinister seymour up there the legacy logo and then just a bunch of iconic characters and look who it is Miss Elvira! Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for the Legacy Store to open. Uh, just closed down though, so I have a feeling it's gonna take a little bit before it opens. Uh, and we'll maybe open if we get an announcement event this year. We're gonna have to hear at Midsummer Scream coming up this weekend. So they moved a majority of the merch out of Virginia's, but I did see a couple pieces as I was walking by, so let's see. So they have a couple pieces on sale here for 50% off. Bloodline stuff. They have like the Not Scary Farm shirt. What is this? Blind Tiger stuff. Let's see. I saw a couple other things in here right here. Grimoire stuff. More Bloodline. More Bloodline. All Bloodline. <laughs> but they have a couple pieces here. This is the only place you can find Scary Farm merch right now. On to the park. So nothing crazy going on here. I peek through the hole and there's nothing going on. I'm not gonna show it, it's all the same. 50th sign is still up on this maze, uh, but where I did notice the difference is right here around the corner in Camp Snoopy. So the biggest thing is on this wall here, they have added this door probably as the exit to this maze. They had the wall up with no door. That's a fresh door that has been <laughs> cut into this wall. So that'll probably be the exit to it. Uh, but another thing I wanna add in this area here is a stage has started being built over here. Now this stage is gonna be used for Camp Snoopy activities during the day, but if it finishes pretty quickly, maybe we can see some scary farm action on it. I don't know, I'm just wishful thinking. So we didn't continue through Camp Snoopy, but we walked back towards the front of Camp Snoopy and there is Forsaken Lake action going on up here. The wall is up and the display is like actually already out. So hopefully we're gonna see this kind of be unveiled soon. I'm wondering if they have like big things planned for an announcement or something, cause it's early to see stuff like this. So continuing our way around the park, we are looking at the backside of Origins. This is where you exit. Looks like they have some of the rigging up now. They have some lighting going on and the lights are actually on. So maybe they're working on that currently. So I know I said at the beginning of this video, the only place to get Scary Farm merch was in Virginia's, but that's a lie because you can find it in here as well. So it looks like there's just kind of the same stuff that you can find in the other store here. Nothing has been changed or updated. They do have some Scary Farm 50th stuff. And I think this is all 50% off still. Yep. I was eyeing these like cards last year. And now that they're 50% off, I might. So these are them all cut up and then they have like the set of them all still together. I don't know which one I want. Maybe that to display and then that to have. What am I gonna do with that? And then they still got all the pins here that you can collect, which we picked up a couple last time. 
So I'm walking to the store and this reminded me, this is not it, but this reminded me of the Scary Farm Lantern. And if you're headed to Midsummer Screen this weekend, make sure to bring your lantern because they're interacting with the Scary Farm booth at Midsummer Screen. So this is not the lantern. The lantern for Scary Farm has been sold out. I heard rumors that they may bring it back. We don't know. We're going to have to just wait and see for their panel this weekend. Um, but it just reminded me as I was walking through the store and saw this lantern. So that's it for me at Knott's today. Those are the only Scary Farm updates that I've seen happening in the park. A lot of stuff's happening behind closed doors, behind walls, things that I don't want to peek through. Um, Scary Farm's coming up super fast though, so it's only a matter of time before we start hearing announcements and seeing things. Midsummer Scream is happening this weekend. I can't wait. I will update you on my horror-themed podcast, Noah's Nightmare Podcast of all things Midsummer Scream, which will include the Not Scary Farm panel and anything they announce. So. If you want to see that, definitely check out the Midsummer Screen vlogs and check out Noah's Nightmare podcast the week after Midsummer Scream. That's when we're going to be talking all things Midsummer Scream. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we're going to be talking all things Scary Farm very, very soon. So stay tuned. It's about to get real spooky. All right. Bye.